This is Sainsbury's, one of the most popular supermarkets in Cambridge. But deep within its aisles lies one of the most interesting, bizarre and poorly understood creatures on the planet, the Sainsbury's ostrich. Most ostriches today are found in Africa. The fact that this species is found in one supermarket in Cambridge still remains an evolutionary mystery. First described to science in early 2013, this program represents the first scientific footage of this species. The Sainsbury's ostrich feeds in a rather peculiar way, moving from aisle to aisle, pecking vigorously, hoping to devour some of the loose packaging. This particular bird is a male. He's trying to defend his area of the store. As very intelligent, inquisitive birds, he's interested in the camera. Of course, the local koala does not offer any help. He flees, hoping to find some fresh orange juice. However, something has unsettled him, and he returns at quite a pace. This is a recycling bag. The ostrich often stores food here to last it through the hard Cambridge winters. Food can be stored up to three meters within these bags, meaning vigorous pecking is in order. This wasn't the right one, it seems. He begins pecking at some nappies. All of a sudden, the koala gets in his way. This will not be tolerated, and so he dashes towards the sanitary products. This aggressive display is a mark of his territory. The interesting posture and pecking of low items coupled with the powerful walk show he is totally in control. Even the polar bear looks intimidated. The Sainsbury's ostrich has a unique escape mechanism. It hides behind the stacking trolleys until it deems it safe to emerge. And here he is. He has noticed a different cardboard bag. This is what he was looking for. Here he finds some of the old Sainsbury's basic meals. He will return later when he's hungry. However, now his territory is in serious threat. A large group of creatures is gathering at this end of the store. This threatens the male. The females like to gather in this area, and to maximize his breeding potential, he must scare them off. The koala again is causing more of a problem. To demonstrate his figure and dominance, he begins pecking at a charity sign. This shows people he is not to be tangled with. The male has now found a suitable female. He begins courting her in the queue for the self-service. He starts by clearing his display area. She notices what he's up to is rather amused, it seems. He begins the courtship pecking. She's not impressed. The male bird's eloquent plumes need a lot of work to keep them tidy. He spends up to three hours a day preening, ensuring they're in order. The female is not willing to mate with the male. She begins to pay for her own products, and then, eventually, she will leave him. Generations of choosy females have led the Sainsbury's ostrich to be the attractive and stunning bird we see today. But it's not just its costume that makes the ostrich interesting. It has learned how to use the self-service. It pecks vigorously, hoping to activate the machine before realizing it must use its feathers. Scanning in its chosen product, it then picks up change off the floor before depositing it into the machine. We still have a lot to learn about the Sainsbury's ostrich, such as where they rear their young and how they open cans using only their beak. However, this species is one of the most interesting and exciting birds in the world.